Hey guys, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. So in the channel, I talk more about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. So today's video is going to be a very small video, but I guess it will be a really effective video because it will help you to explore your data in a much more better way. So in today's video, I'll talk about some of the methods which will help you a lot. So uh, before we get started, let's tell you what how I get the data sources. So for that, I just usually uh, imported some of the libraries over here. So you can see like pandas, numpy, matplotlib, cbon, and scikit-learn. And uh, today I'm going to use the inbuilt data set in scikit-learn. So let's uh, see that. Like what are the data sets are available in uh, scikit-learn. So for that, you just need to do is from sklearn import data sets. And from there, you'll get all the inbuilt data sets which are available in scikit-learn over here. So after importing the data set, what I've done is that I'll just check the directory of data sets. So, so these are the data sets are available like California housing, of type, like there are a lot of data sets are there like clear data home, uh, like just you can see like scary recap. Okay, so, uh, out of those data set like diabetes, the many data sets are there, you can go into that. But for today's uh, tutorial, I'll be checking the uh, wine data set. Uh, I think there is a wine. So this one is a load wine data set. So I'll be using that particular data set. So for that, I'll just uh, loading that data set like data sets dot load wine. So I just uh, loading the data set. And after that, uh, you can see like there are these are the basically the data. What are the feature data is available there. And these are the feature names. So basically the column names over there and this is the output data that's the output target variable that is a zero or one okay uh, and this is a class zero one two like basically there are three output classes and you have to predict that it's a classification problem i'm not go going more deep into the data how it is data is and all about because it's not that uh, the topic today so the topic is about the particular the uh, particular methods in pandas okay so for that what i have done is that i just loading the data set and creating a empty data frame and i put that data over there and creating that data frame out of it so data frame i've just given the column names target names all the things over there i've given okay so now uh, you may heard of that uh, like value counts as a method in pandas for that uh, like in the data set, I'm just quickly show you how the data is looks like right now. So I'm just creating a code cell here. So the data dot uh, head. Okay, I'm just taking the first three rows of the data. So if I run this one, so you can see like this the alcohol, uh, malic acid. There are a lot of different features say the magnesium, total phenom. So based on those features, you have to predict the output. So that is a class 0, 1, 2. Basically, three classes are there. So in the total data set, if I want to find out like like how much is zero is like a number of records with zero class, number of records with one class, number of records with two class. For that, we can uh, easily use this particular method called data class that value counts. Okay. So if I run this particular cell here, so so you can see like zero is about 59 like, records one is 71 records and two is about 48 records these things okay but the beautiful thing is that you can use this particular method for uh, like uh, frequency distribution also so suppose uh, in this particular column the alcohol column so it is representing how much alcohol is there in the solution basically so it's a you can see it's a continuous uh, variable so it's continuously uh, variable is there so what you can do is that we can just use the data alcohol so i'm just taking the alcohol data and use the value counts let's see how it will happen so i just if i run this particular cell so you can see like it's just giving you uh, like <laughs> it is giving the value counts like uh, it's a continuous data so you just take the integer value or giving some data but that that doesn't mean anything like because the continuous value is always continuously flowing so there's no any category to give you the number of records but the thing is that if i 
use a particular attribute over here like b is equals to 10 okay and given ascending true so in that case it what you'll do just let's see if i just run this one so we can see it gives a uh, like frequency distribution like uh, between uh, 11 0 to 5 to 11 41 there are the two records uh, 14 45 to 14 83 the two records uh, so it gives the range like in this particular small small ranges uh, we can get that amount of uh, records over there out of total records in alcohol okay and maybe you have heard of the histogram so histogram basically do the same thing but in a graphical format so if i just want to plot the histogram over here so you can see like if i from uh, like from sns like c1 i'm just uh, taking the hist plot method and put the data over there data alcohol and pin equals to 10 so in that case if i just uh, run this cell i'll get the same data but in a nice like histogram format like from 11 to this so this amount of 2 i think so 11 5 to 2 so this amount of data is the number of records so the similar kind of thing you can find over here also so uh, my main topic was my main thinking was that to show you this particular phenomena that is called if you just put bin equal to 10 or any kind of number you will get this uh, a very beautiful uh, like frequency distribution for a continuous variable in any data set so suppose if i want uh, some other frequency suppose if i give the frequency is 5 okay and like uh, bin equal to 5 in that case if i just run this one okay so in that case I'll get that amount of feature. So it's a really good uh, method in Pandas. I hope uh, it will help you a lot in your uh, data exploration, in your data science and machine learning work and projects. I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and check out the awesome videos which I'm creating. Uh, I think it will help you out in your data science journey. Thank you for watching my video. Thanks.